So the last thing I reacted to on this channel was a black midi piece that had over 6 million notes and that was called Tower the Song by someone called HDSQ. Since then I've had quite a number of comments asking me to react to this piece. Uranos. Didn't want to pronounce that wrong. And that is because this piece has over 24 million notes in it. So let's watch. Nice so far, we're in F minor. Like with all these pieces, it always starts nice and simple and it gives you a false sense of security. That's a nice chord. A nice strong D flat major chord. It's got a really strong chord structure. F minor, B flat minor, D flat major, and then E diminished just to add some drama. Wow, that's pretty cool. It kind of looks like rainfall that's really sporadic, but you can hear kind of the little in between. That's nice rhythm. That rhythm's used in a lot of pop music. I've done a few videos talking about it. When it's like offbeat, it makes you kind of want to nod your head in between, like... That's what makes it so cool, and it's got a nice melody with it as well. This is the third piece that I've reacted to where the keyboard expands to the point where it's not possible to play anymore. It's still got that very clear melody. But at the same time it's got... We're still only at half a million notes. There's still another 23 and a half million notes to go. It's almost got like a drum beat in the background. Like... It's making me want to go... But I only used about 30 notes, so it's not really that impressive, is it? Wow, we really racked up some note usage there. We're now at 4 million. I think it's really cool when it like comes out of that craziness and it like disperses like that. It sounds really cool. We're now using just four chords. F minor, D flat major, A flat major, E flat major. So like every pop song ever. That was interesting, it kind of like reversed the chord pan and then added in a G diminished before going to the E. I do think the one problem with some of these black midi pieces is that the melody has no like shape to it. I know that I'm going to get hated for saying this, but it's very much like rather than being shaped. 
And the thing is, there are 127 different volumes you can have on MIDI, so they could do it. But maybe it's just part of the charm of black MIDI pieces. I suppose when there's a lot going on, you have to have the volume of the melody really loud so that it cuts over the rest of it. We're expanding the piano again as if 500 keys wasn't enough. It's really interesting to look at the piano because you can see that there are actually gaps in the last piece that I reacted to. At the point of the song where it was the thickest texture, there wasn't a single second where every key wasn't being played. Whereas it's really interesting to see where some of the keys aren't being played because you can tell that there's been thought put into which parts are playing what. Wow, we're going up millions and millions of notes at a time right now. It's amazing because all these notes are being played, but it's still just... Something similar to that, like the essence of the music is exactly the same as if you were playing not very many keys. I like that. interesting and cool rhythm. I also forgot to mention that it did change keys, so we're now in G minor rather than F minor. That last chord is cool. It's like a James Bond chord. It's like a minor major seven chord, very strange. You can always tell that the people that are behind these pieces are you know, like incredibly talented writers because the music is always very well written. The last black MIDI piece that I read to was Tower the Song, also by HDSQ. And if you are interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.